Hey guys, um, I'm just sitting here with my uh, X3. I am uh, programming, or I'm already done programming my uh, my Hobby Wing 880, uh, and I'm I'm watching a video, make sure I'm getting everything right. Uh, I've programmed it before, but I'm just my little paranoia, making sure everything's done right. Anyway, here's the values. I will show a picture of the 880 programming. It's different from the from the 1080s, which this is a card for the 1080s, but when you plug it in, your program card knows the difference. So there is going to be some difference, but here's the values I went with for smoothness and best drag break and stuff. Value 1 or item 2. Item 3. Item four, item five, item six, item seven, item eight, obviously. Here's nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, when I got my truck, there was drag brake programmed in, but it didn't really feel like it. But then again, I'm used to running the Fusion and Brushless where there's some a lot more drag brake. In fact, the Fusion, Fusion uses a active drag brake which reverses the motor to keep it from, you know, instead of locking the magnets up, it reverses the motor to keep it from rolling backwards. And I don't think they can really do that with brushed motors. Uh, I had brushed motors in the past and they just don't have the drag brake um, you know, that brushless has, uh, I'm also getting ready and you'll see here, here in a minute that, uh, on my last video, I made a mistake and I said these, the BC eight motors was, uh, was 35 turn, but they're not, they're 38 turn, which doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but compared to a 25 turn motor, you know, three pole motor, it's, it's going to make a difference. Uh, it won't stay in there, but You'll get to see it drive here in a minute. Well, here's my uh, next step on uh, cheap upgrades. Um, the first was obviously just retuning the ESC, as you just seen. I'm uh, swapping out the 25 turn uh, 564 this uh, 38 turn that came off my mammoth that had like maybe an hour of runtime on it. So it's essentially a new new motor. Uh, Cross does not make it easy to swap out motors. So I'm gonna try a trick or two, uh, some modifications to see if it'll be easier. You have to take off your front diff uh, servo and your transmission shift servo uh, the whole assembly it's three screws under here and then there's a screw on the side of the transmission on both sides that go in right here and go in right here and two screws underneath like your typical you know most of your rigs have three screws underneath this one has four two underneath and the ones on the sides and uh, it's just a pain and then here's here's the cover <clears throat> it's you know you can't run you can't run it without the cover because the cover is these here so we'll see I'm, I'm thinking about something I just don't know if I'm gonna do it or not anyway um, they put this massive pinion gear on here. This thing's 
I'm going to run a smaller one. Uh, I didn't count it. I'll count it here in a second. And now we got the motor done. And I did, I did some modifications to the motor cover. You know, keep that keeps the dust out because that was a pain having to take everything off. And we're on to the foams. Um, I was originally going to just star cut the stock foams. Uh, and I tried them out and they were okay. But I went ahead and dug through my bag of old foams I've been collecting over the last 15 years. And I found some Crawler Innovations uh, 3005s, which are made for, uh, and they're like a solid core, so they're waterproof. They're made for a, what a four, 4.75 tire. And one thing I learned years ago when these came out, probably 13, 14 years ago from my buddy, John, um, is you can tune these. And we were talking about different ways of tuning them. And, uh, I found some I had tuned a while back and because uh, they, they come like this and then the owner of Crawler Innovations who makes these said, try them out, tune them the way you want. So a lot of times I tune these and what's nice is they work, they work to me, they work just as much as a 3D printed foam because they don't have much side give, so you could tune them different ways. I like to use a soldering gun and put a 16 penny inch nail in it. And usually for the rear, I'll poke holes in them using a 16 penny inch nail. If you use a drill, sometimes the phone grabs the drill bit. And then for the front, I'll poke the holes and I'll put the little slits right here. But for this truck, for this truck, because it's heavy, I kept, and the tires are bigger, I kept the full size in the back, and then I used um, medium outer foams from Crawler Innovations that I found, and it's similar to these. These are, they're hard, hard, hard outers. These inners are from some rock beasts I had, but these aren't going in there. I found some extra soft outer foams that's going to go in the front but for the back I use Crawler Innovations 4.75 outers which are mediums and I have perfect squish where I want it which gives me like a 12 pound PSI in the back in the front I'm going for like a roughly like an 8 PSI squish and I'm getting ready to get started on those and uh but i won't be i won't be using the tune foams i'm going to use the stock uh 2005s and i'm going to use these which i don't know where these came from originally but they're similar to the soft outer foams on the two stage foams that crawler motivation uses so you could probably you could probably contact them and get some soft outers and get these or just get some two-stage foams from him that have these centers. Uh, these are for a uh, 1.9, but they, they'll they they'll stretch for a 2.2. Uh, I'm using them instead of the star cut because they're free and they're going to work a little better than these, I think. I changed my mind at the last minute because I put the solids in the front with the soft outers, and I'm going to go with the tuned foams in the front because I like I said I want a little bit more squish in the front than in the back I only want enough squish in the back for traction a little bit of traction but when I'm towing something I don't want it, the tire to go completely flat and so I left the sol solids are staying in the back with the medium outers perfect I got the squish I wanted TLC on a couple of the joints. Here's a short little there story. There you have it. We got the bed off. Um, many, many years ago when my oldest son was like 15 years old and uh, we were crawling, we went up this, down the street at the high school, we went up this 
dirt, loose dirt hill. It wasn't wasn't sandy. It was loose dirt, you know, packed dirt with the loose on top of it. And he was driving his AX10 that I had converted over to a full frame. And he had these old school. He had these old school um, memory foams in these Panther 2.2 tires, and it literally looked like a, like they were completely flat, like two or three psi. And he started climbing that hill, and I was like, "There's no way that's going to go up that Gideon." And those tires just were flattened out, and they grabbed and they walked up that dirt here hill. I never seen, even to this day, I've never seen a truck climb up a hill that steep that was just loose dirt. It just clawed its way up to the top with hardly any tire speed at all. It was, uh, it was cool and it was funny at the same time. Well, I got all the foams in and uh, we're going to take it for a test drive. Uh, but I want to show you my my simple modifications I did since uh, I got to pull the transmission every time I change motors and I like to experiment a lot with motors uh, I cut down under the spur and just slow enough to be able to get to the bottom bolt right here for the motor uh, the rest of it doesn't really seem to contribute to stability on the transmission it's locked in there really well so i'm not really worried about it and then this just sits back it back in there and bolts up here and the other bolt on the other side so it's not that big of a deal i'll put it back i'll put it back when uh, i'm done testing let's go take this sucker for a drive okay i have uh we're going to try out the, see how fast the 38 turn uh, 560 is that came out of my Mammoth. Uh, I did drop down from a 20 tooth pinion to a 17. So um, it's still in 3S, but here we go. This is first gear. quite a bit slower and uh, let's try second gear and I turned the drag brake all the way up so that's a little better it's still doable speed I'm fine with that speed Let's go out here to the bricks and the rocks. As normal, I like to uh, go as far as I can with everything being unlocked. squish they're definitely grabbing and I like the extra low end grunt from a My brooks have never seen such a big rig <laughs> out here on the rocks. Once again, I'm completely unlocked. Remember last time, even locked. The tires uh, didn't want to grab very well. The 
because they weren't aired down. Let's see how they do now. Oh yeah, much better. Well, so far. It's like in both diffs. Yeah, I got in a hole. Oh yeah, this is this is better. Well, let's see how that drag brake holds. I didn't want to do that. Boy, drag brake on a brush motor just isn't what it isn't what it used to, or isn't what it I remember it being. Of course, I'm sure with a a good hand wound motor, it probably works a lot better. Let's uh, make sure I'm unlocked. I want to do this climb unlocked. I definitely, definitely love the extra low end torque. Let's go ahead and lock it in. Oh, don't want to go over again. Definitely going to have to add some weight to that front, the front wheels. I was trying to get away from it, but with the tires uh, getting some wrinkle and collapsing a little bit, starting to throw more weight to the rear. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some weights in those tires. Of course, I mean, this is a recovery truck. I mean, it's, it's not some comp truck. Still, we want the best performance out of every rig we have, right? Ah. Let's try that again. Let's try that again, again. There we go, just kind of change the line a little bit. There we go. I knew it was the driver, not the truck. Okay, let's see if we can make it down without a rolling over all right that one may keep going let's unlock so I guess I'll just get this turn a little better hey guys you you guys with the uh, uh, emo trucks the emo X trucks do you guys ever have a problem with the axles, the, the diffs not unlocking uh, like they should? And maybe I need to break mine in, but uh, sometimes they don't seem like they want to unlock as easily as some of my other trucks that have selectable lockers. I made easy work of that. See if I can make it over the bridge. I do need to fix my bridge. It's starting to fall apart. It's been a long time 
since I uh, fixed it. You know, the some of the logs are coming undone. Oh. Don't want a freaking broken axle from it binding up. Well, what you guys think? Uh, I think the, I mean, if you think about it, I really, if you go with the uh, cut, you know, the star cut foams and you go with the 38 turn mammoth motor, um, just the upgrades, the simple upgrades I did, you're only talking $35 uh, and a retune. Um, I wish it did have more drag brake and more weight up front but that's later anyway uh thanks guys for watching uh comment like i really do like reading the feedback and talking to people about rc trucks so i always appreciate that uh, you guys have a great week